It's Monday and I'm back with another quick tip where I try to keep it to about a minute. I mean, under two minutes is still a minute-ish, right? I'm feeling pretty radical today and I want to talk about presets. Not the kind that everybody's trying to sell you, but the kind that you should create to save you massive amounts of time. First, I want to talk about cleaning up your presets. In the develop module, you have access to your presets. Notice that I'm only seeing my user presets over here. I don't use all of those others. You can turn them off if you don't use them either by clicking the plus sign and going to manage presets. Then remove the check mark from any presets you have installed that you're just not using. It'll actually help Lightroom run a little bit faster. Now, of course, I have my import preset that I use on every image that I import. It automatically edits the image to a base starting point for me and saves me tons of time. I've got other videos that show you how to do that. But what I want to mention today is additional presets that allow you to quickly add an effect or level adjustment in some way without actually having to even go into the panel. For instance, I've automatically clicked the Automagic preset, but let's say I want to sharpen this a little bit. Right here, clicking this just adds sharpening 45 low. How did I do that? Well, earlier, I went over the detail panel. I set my sharpening to 45 and my other settings as I wanted, and then I came over here and said Create Preset. Then, check None except for Sharpening and give it a name. With all of these others not checked, their, their, their values will be left as is. If you've made a change to them, it'll be left at that. If you hadn't, it'll just be sitting at its default. And now you can add sharpening. I've got ones that add sharpening at a low and medium amount. I've got a medium and a stronger tone curve. And I've got vignettes that I can throw on there quickly instead of going down to these different panels. It's just a little way to speed up your editing process. And of course, you could even get a little fancier. You've got a warm sunset. It warms it all up and throws on a graduated filter. There are local area adjustments that you can add to presets as well. And so now then I can just move this to wherever I need. It happened to be in the right spot. And remember, under the local area adjustments, you can set up presets here for additional quick access to any of the settings. All you need to do is make changes to these values here, click on the little drop down, and save current settings as a new preset. It will be available to you across the graduated filter, radial filter, and the brush. That was just a quick look at some of the ways that making presets that do very specific things can save you a little bit of time and energy. If you appreciated this quick tip, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That's actually a really easy and nice way to thank me for my time. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.